This pro tip is all about using formula line breaks, which is a great way to improve readability and organize your formulas. Now it's a one star tip, very, very basic, but it's something that I actually wasn't aware of for quite some time. And the idea is that while you're actually typing or editing within the Excel formula bar, instead of just pressing enter, which will submit your formula, hold alt first. So then when you press alt and enter, you're gonna create a line break and split your formula into multiple lines. So to give you an example, in this demo that we'll walk through, we've got this nested if statement that's not extremely long, but it's, it's rather long. And what we're gonna do is take that formula, use these line breaks to break out each condition, each individual if statement into its own row. And that won't change anything about how the formula calculates or the results that it produces. All it's doing is helping to improve organization and readability. So very straightforward stuff here. Common use cases, again, breaking down uh, functions, especially like conditional functions like this, into these multiple lines to isolate individual criteria, or making more complex nested formulas easier to interpret by introducing each of the new component functions on a new line. So you'll get to the point as you get very advanced with formulas and functions, where you're combining all sorts of things like offset and index and count day and rows. And if you nest them all within a single endless string of functions, they can be very, very hard to interpret and diagnose if something's going wrong. So let's jump into Excel and give this a shot. All right, so from our table of contents, I uh, look for the formula line breaks demo and go ahead and press link. And this will take you to a tab that contains information about 24 different stores or supermarkets. I've got a region ID, we've got city, state, country, and then this total square foot column, which is driving this formula in column H. And this is a nested if statement. We're testing multiple criteria and essentially applying some sort of a label based on the total square feet. So depending on the size of the store, we're labeling it as small, medium, large, or very large. So this will be a good candidate for those alt line breaks here in the formula bar. Now let's click into the formula bar. First thing we can do is hover over the bottom edge until you see that two pointed arrow. Click and hold and drag it down. That's just gonna give us a little bit more space to work with inside of that formula bar. And now what we wanna do is create line breaks between each of the if statements, each of the individual conditions or criteria that we're testing. So just place your cursor right before that first if, after the comma, and hold alt as you press enter. And that's gonna go ahead and move the rest of that formula down to the next line. Same exact thing here before the next if statement, alt, enter, and then one more time before the final if statement, alt, enter. So now we can see much more clearly Okay, we're testing the values in G2, right? And the first test is the square footage greater than 35,000. If so, we're gonna label that store very large. If that is not true, we're gonna move to the next line. Is the size greater than 30,000? If so, we'll label it large. And this is kind of how these nested if statements work is they progress through a series of true false tests. And then if none of those are true, you've got this kind of catch all value of false. And I suppose we could actually drop this down to its own row as well, because that's the final result, the final label, which is other. And there you have it. When we press enter and apply that down, nothing should change whatsoever, with the exception of the fact that we've made our formula a bit more readable and a bit more user-friendly. So there you go, adding line breaks to your formulas using Alt-Enter.